بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم اسٹوڈنٹس ہاؤ آر یو آئی ہوپ یو آل آر فائن ان دس ویڈیو آئی ایم گوئنگ ٹو ٹیل یو فیو ہسٹالوجی ریلیٹڈ کوشچنس اینڈ آسٹیولوجی اینڈ ایمبریولوجی ریلیٹڈ کوشچنس دا فرسٹ کوشچن از آن دا ہسٹالوجی وچ از بیسڈ آن ہسٹالوجی وچ از یوزلی آسٹ ان دا ایگزام از دیٹ دا سینیریو ول بی گیون ٹو یو اینڈ یو ہیو ٹو آئیڈینٹیفائی اٹ دیٹ وچ از اسٹرکچر از دس اینڈ یو ول بی آسٹ دیٹ ٹو ڈسکرائب دا مائکروسکوپک فیچرس آف دیٹ اسٹرکچر اور آرگن اینڈ یو ہیو ٹو ڈرا اے لیبل ڈائگرام فرام فرام ڈیفور اے ایٹلس Uh, or uh, from Defore Atlas you can draw the diagram you can take the reference I'm giving you the reference you can uh, uh, easily download download Defore Atlas from Google as well now let's talk about the first question the first question is a 30 year old uh, woman undergoing evaluation for anemia and thrombocytopenia underwent imaging which shows enlargement of a secondary lymphoid organ located in the upper left abdominal quadrant upper in the upper left uh, upper left abdominal quadrant uh, this structure is present spleen okay now i can tell you one another scenario as well that if there is uh, you know uh, splenomegaly the spleen is going to come on the right side of the uh, abdomen it uh, grows or it uh, uh, enlarges in size in the uh, in uh, obliquely okay uh, uh, but it is not it is not going to come in your exam it's just an extra knowledge okay so you are going to this is obviously the anemia and thrombocytopenia and uh, secondary lymphoid organ that is showing upper in the pre- present in the upper left quadrant this is a spleen obviously you are going to identify you are going to write down the microscopic uh, features of the spleen that is uh, white pulp and red pulp in the first you are going to tell that it is a uh, uh, it is uh, uh, like a thymus uh, unlike thymus it is not a uh, bilobed structure it is uh, the, uh, rather thymus is a bilobed structure and uh, it is surrounded by a capsule and uh, the trabecula extends uh, uh, or moves into the ground of the substance and there is a white pulp and the red pulp uh, the white pulp uh, appears to be Uh, purple in color due to the H and E staining otherwise it is white it is just an extra knowledge you are not going to write down it in your microscopic features okay I'm just giving you an explanation of the white pulp and the red pulp okay now white pulp is consists of the lymphoid nodules around the central arterioles which consist of T and B cells red pulp consists of splenic cords and splenic sinusoids are present in it or uh, billroth Uh, cords of billroth it is also called cords of billroth histological features are these uh, you can say sinusoids with the stave cells rbcs macrophages white cell contains central artery surrounded by pass that is peri arterial lymphatic lymphoid sheath capsule and trabeculae can be seen and you are going to draw the diagram from the defore atlas if it is been asked to you in the exam Uh, question 2 is a teenager underwent tonsillectomy due to chronic short infections the removed tissue was sent for histopathological examination obviously it is a very easy question tonsil um, for short infections for usually for commonly asked question is uh, commonly uh, uh, tonsillectomy palatine tonsil is present so this is obviously palatine tonsil but it is a very easy and uh, you know it is not even i can it is a c1 basically it is a c1 based question that is uh, these type of questions are not going to come in your examination but you need to uh, it, uh, it it is at, it must be an interpretation okay but you have to i am just giving you a rough idea how the questions come in your exams okay the key is palatine tonsil you have to identify they are asking uh, first question is asking part a is asking that identify the organ write down the histological features describe the two microscopic features if they ask you two microscopic features but you can see that there are uh, ma- marks of 1.5 so you are going to write down three Uh, points on the microscopic feature 0.5 0.5 each okay use your common sense as well okay this is the microscopic architecture covered by stratified squamous non keratinized epithelium presence of uh, crypts extending deep into the uh, organ of tissue your lymphoid tissue 
numerous yes several lymphoid follicles are present with germinal centers in it uh, germinal centers are light in color and uh, uh, with the under, in underlying lamina propria specific features are crypts also uh, lymphoid nodules with germinal centers germinal centers are light in color no capsule on the luminal side luminal side partial on the deep deep in uh, trabeculae are also present in it question number 3 is a pathologist examined a, a lymphoid uh, a lymph node biopsy from a patient with suspected lymphoma identify the lymphoid organ describe the microscopic uh, zone of this organ list any two histological features that distinguish this organ from the others that is a lymph node cortex and paracortex and medulla are present cortex contain the lymphoid follicles that is b cells which is rich in the b cells and paracortex uh, consist of the t cell rich area which is present between the cortex and the medulla and the medulla medullary cords and medullary sinuses are present medullary cords are consisting of the lymphocytes and plasma cells and this structure is uh, subscapular sinus is present just beneath the capsule this is a a uh, distinguishing feature that it distinguish it from the other uh, organs afferent lymphatic vessels are going to enter the capsule and efferent vessels leave at the hilum reticular fibers are also present in the supporting uh, uh, structure or network question number 4 is a young child was brought to the pediatrician with complaint of repeated upper respiratory tract infection since birth the doctor told the parent that the child has developmental defect of one of, one of his primary lymphoid organ which is normally present in the upper part of the chest in the upper part of the chest which organ is present obviously thymus is present and this is a primary lymphoid organ and the thymus is a, as you all know the microscopic features of this organ are what are the uh, microscopic features it is a bilobed lymphoepithelial organ it is divided into the lobules by connective tissue septa and they are not dividing in a proper way it uh, and each lobule has a cortex and a medulla cortex has a densely packed with immature t lymphocyte thymocyte and epithelial reticular cells are also present t in, uh, in t cells are also present and positive with positive selection uh, medulla contains fewer uh, more mature t cells hessel corpuscle is a uh, distinguishing feature as or the main feature of the thymus that is need that it needs to be described furthermore concentric epithe consisting of concent that is basically concentric epithelial structure and support negative selection to eliminate self reactive t cells thymus lack the lymphatic nodules and has a blood thymus barrier in the cortex to protect developing t cells from the antigens this structure enables the maturation and selection of t lymphocytes essential for adaptive immunity you can also write down more about the microscopic features you can uh, uh, do an addition and suppression on your own you have to write you have to draw a diagram on the thymus or microscopic features of the thymus question number 5 is a surgeon found a hard localized lump at superior lateral quadrant of the breast near axilla while doing lumpectomy he should remove a group of nodes which group of lymph nodes will be removed explain the lymphatic drainage drainage of the involved structure i think so this structure is that the lymphatic drainage of the breast especially from the superior lateral quadrant near the axilla follows the this path i guess the answer is this okay that's what i think superficial lymphatic drainage from the skin of the breast drain into the axillary or parasternal internal internal thoracic and inferior uh, phrenic lymph nodes except the nipple and areola deep lymphatic drainage from the parenchyma of the breast including nipple and areola subareolar lymphatic plexus of sepi collects lymph from the nipple and areola okay this a uh, question can be asked in your uh, bcu as well ke sub areolar lymphatic plexus of sepi collects kahan se collect karega lymph uh, karega from the nipple and areola kaun se karta hai lymphatic plexus that can be asked in your uh, bcu as well about 75% of the lymph especially from the lateral quadrant drain is going to drain in the axillary lymph node mainly the anterior group or the pectoral group which is also commonly called pectoral group medial quadrant quadrants may drain into the parasternal node or across the contra or across to the contralateral breast some lymph from from low, lower quadrants may reach the abdominal or inferior phrenic nodes axillary lymph nodes especially anterior group are the primary site for lymphatic drainage of the superior lateral quadrant which is why they are removed during lumpectomy in this area okay now you can see the answer of this question that axillary lymph nodes from the especially from the anterior group are uh, removed from the superior lateral quadrant which is been asked to you in this question i think so superior lateral they are asking you superior lateral superior lateral quadrant okay so 
now you can see the answer that what should be the answer of this question you better know about this okay thank you that's it for today